exists in a uh, number of other uh, translations as well. Uh, his book of Nepali translations, Roaring Recitals, a few years back was nominated by Library of Congress as Best Asian Book of the Year. He's gotten grants and awards from Rockefeller Foundation as well as from, and here's the comparative angle again, from eminent institutions in Slovenia, Ireland, and uh, Israel. He reads around the world, gave up his academic life to put all his chips on poetry, a daring move, uh, but he does teach now and then at places like Heidelberg, uh, Belfast, and Ottawa. He edits Pratik, a magazine of contemporary writing, and contributes literary columns to the leading dailies in Nepal, the Himalayan Times, Kathmandu Post. You see any daily literary column in most of your newspapers around here? Uh, probably not at all. Anyway, his CV goes, goes on and on. But I'm here, I think, among fellow writers and among friends. I have to detail one other uh, aspect of uh, Yuyutsu Sharma. Uh, when my wife and I traveled to Nepal a year ago, as thousands of people do all the time, I wrote to him. I had never met him before. And I, in the end, received generous and gracious hospitality simply as a fellow writer far from his own home, uh, well aware that uh, some talented writers are unpleasant human beings, I'm glad not only to know the remarkable and important work of Yuyutsu Sharma in print, but also Yuyutsu Sharma himself. Namaste. We say namaste, as I always say. A Sanskrit uh, means, I bow to the God in you, I bow to the soul of God in you. Each one of us has God in us. So I do namaste to all of you. Thank you so much for coming. I think uh, I'm pampered and I'm, I'm very flattered uh, to have this wonderful audience and uh, so lovely people in an, in an inland unknown, a land which is foreign to me. I come from the top of the world, from the Himalayas. And I, as I always say, we have uh, a name for Himalayas, the name is Devatatma, the place where soul of the God lives. <laughs>